Amidst the dark news this week about the resurgence of coronavirus, there was a beam of light. A pair of vaccines went to the FDA for emergency approval after an unprecedented collective effort this year by doctors, scientists, government, and pharmaceutical companies. A CDC panel recommended healthcare workers and residents and staff at long-term care facilities should be the first to get the vaccine. This as the UK became the first Western country to approve a vaccine, with the country ready to roll it out in just days. NBC's Molly Hunter has our Sunday Focus this morning from London. It's the news we've all been waiting for, but creating a COVID-19 vaccine is just the first step. Reaching the world is the next. This is a war where we're all in it together. This week, the UK became the first country to approve emergency use of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. We've been waiting and hoping for the day when the searchlights of science would pick out our invisible enemy. A global crisis requiring a massive international effort. The vaccine created in Germany, manufactured in Belgium, tested in Germany, Turkey, South Africa, Brazil, Argentina, and the U.S. The first batch already landed here in the U.K. and the U.S. not far behind. We'll spend the day on Thursday reviewing the data from Pfizer, and at the end of the day, a vote will be taken. So by the end of the day on next Thursday, there could be a decision made about the vaccine. The head start on this side of the pond because UK regulators review data as it comes in from the company, while the FDA waits for all the raw data from the lab at the end. This might totally change the way that we, we regulate and license vaccines in the future to speed up their arrival in the population. I think it could be, I think this could actually be a great thing. But even if the five wealthiest nations and the EU start vaccinating healthcare workers and the elderly this month, getting around to the rest of us by next summer, there are still some countries that may not see any vials of the vaccine until 2023 or 2024. We can't just end the pandemic in Europe or in the United States that we need to end the pandemic worldwide. Um, we've we've got precedent for this. We landed um we eradicated smallpox in the 1970s. Most of the 2021 vaccine capacity of the leading candidates already spoken for. So many low to middle income countries will rely on COVAX, a joint fund led in part by the vaccine alliance Gavi and the World Health Organization. Challenge number one is supply, then the biggest logistical operation in the world. And while the UK is equipping hospitals and vaccination centers with cold storage, the Pfizer vaccine needs to be kept at minus 70 degrees. Getting the vaccine to rural villages and towns in the U.S. and across the developing world is vital for all of us. And once it gets to where it's going, well, people need to take it. The important thing for most people is to know that the vaccine is effective. Mm -hmm. and that the risk is minimal. This week, a big step forward, but scientists still have big questions too. Not about the safety, but about how long immunity lasts. And once vaccinated, are you still contagious? Any vaccine that can also prevent transmission is so much more valuable. Right, so we know that it might stop me from getting hospitalized or put in the ICU, but whether asymptomatically I can still pass it on, we don't know. To have 90 to 95% efficacy, um, is, is a dream come true, and it's going to make a real difference to people's lives. And Molly joins me now live from London. Molly, good morning. It's good to see you. As you say, this is a big week. So what are the next steps there in the U.K. where you are, and how soon might we see the vaccine here in the United States? Hey, Willie, good morning. A huge relief. Now, I'm standing in front of one of the hospitals here in London, one of 50 hospitals in various locations across the U.K. that is expected to start rolling out the vaccine, actually giving the vaccine to people starting on Tuesday across the country. In the U.S., the FDA independent panel of experts is expected to meet and vote on Thursday. Now, then if they vote to approve the Pfizer vaccine, it goes to the FDA. And then technically, if they approve quickly, Willie, then vaccines could actually start on Friday. Now, we do know that New York State, for example, is expecting its first delivery of the Pfizer vaccine on December 15th, so just about a week after the UK. Willie? Just an astounding achievement, all this happening in less than a year. Molly Hunter in London for us. Molly, thanks so much.